Well, and your presence in the U.S. Senate will make a tremendous difference, would have made a tremendous difference even in this most recent vote on the uh, on the latest stimulus package. And it would make a tremendous difference on things such as card check. It would make a tremendous difference on the, the lack of resolve that I, I'm worried that we're going to see in the United Nations on transparency. I led the charge on the oil for food investigation uh, to uh, protect the $4 billion that Americans put into the United Nations each year and to make sure that there is accountability and transparency. And they would make a difference in areas uh, such as what's happening with Iran. Uh, Rick Santorum preceded me, but I picked up the, the gauntlet to, uh, to try to be a voice that, that really uh, stressed the danger that a nuclear Iran spreads, not just to Israel, the United States, but to the world. And so there are things that uh, passionate about. Uh, and, uh, and by the way, I was a former urban mayor. I, I know the importance of keeping lids on taxes to grow jobs. I think it was in decline and, and revitalized it uh, without growing bigger government. So uh, these are important times. You know, I'm running against Al Franken, uh, but uh, you know, th- this race is not yet re- decided. We had more votes on election night. We had more votes when the recount began. He got a temporary uh, lead during the canvassing board process, but we're now before a three-judge panel, and, and I am hopeful when all votes counted, we'll be exactly where we want election night, is that is ahead, uh, and that I'll continue to serve in the Senate. How long is that going to take, Senator? We'll get done with our case this week. Franken will probably spend a week and a half on, on his case, and then this three-judge panel will sit down and start counting votes. It's really it's somewhat ironic uh, to see Franken in the position of trying to exclude ballots now for technical reasons, trying to disenfranchise voters. You know, it kind of reminds me of Washington State. You do a recount up there in that Rossi race, and then when the other side finally gets ahead, they say, let's stop counting. Uh, and uh, in Minnesota, uh, we opened the canvassing board, which was the process went through right after the election, opened up 933 absentee ballots. Franken jumped ahead. Uh, but the problem is those ballots came from predominantly Democrat areas, and, and we went then to the rest of the state and said, hey, if you're going to open up certain types of ballots during the canvassing board stage, that same kind of ballot it needs to be opened you know, uh, if it came from a Republican area. And so that's been our battle to get literally thousands more votes in from predominantly Republican areas because the Democrat votes have been counted. They, they put their ballots back on the table, and uh, you know, we're simply looking for equal application of the law. So another couple of weeks, the court will sit down and start counting and we're confident if they use a standard application, they count, they vote in a Republican area, they, they let that in the same way they let it in the Democrat area, that will be okay. And, and uh, we'll see how this plays out next week.